Hey everybody, this is the fourth video in a series to show you how to set up emergency shelter. First video, I showed you the event hitch. The second one, I showed you a trucker's hitch. And then I showed you the press ignite. Now I'm gonna show you how to secure your shelter of choice to your ridge line. Uh, this is an emergency mylar blanket. I'll show you how to fasten to it. Uh, these work, but there's not much room for error. It's easy to make a mistake with this. These are thin, they tear easily. So why they work and why you can put them in your kit, and I do recommend you have them in your kit. You are going to need to know knots to be able to use this properly, but know that it's easy to mess this up. So I recommend having a quality tarp. This is a five by eight tarp. Uh, this is roughly five by eight. Well, it's 52 inches by 82 inches. It's big enough to make an emergency shelter. This is definitely large enough to do a very good emergency shelter or whatever else you want with it. Right now, this ridge line is a little too high, um, but it'll work for what we're gonna do today. So I am going to first off take and secure two corners of this mylar blanket to this ridge line with these pressic knots. Secure this. Now notice there are no grommets in this. So I have to tie this to this. How do I do that? The best way to do it is with a backcountry button or a bushcraft button, whichever term you want to use. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find something that I can stick inside of here. I can use a pine cone. I can use a clop of dirt. I can use a bunch of leaves. Whatever it is I can find out here. Um, right here in front of me happens to be a piece of charcoal from a fire. All I'm going to do is lay that inside of there and wrap it around. Now I have a small little button. What I'm gonna do next is with this, I'm gonna use a lark's head knot. Basically what I do is I'm gonna take this and fold it kind of like a pretzel. Notice, I, let's get my hands out of the way. I'm basically got made two loops, right? Now I'm gonna fold those loops back in on themselves. So now they'll secure to something. If I fold it the wrong way, we'll do it wrong. So that this is this is the right way. If I do it wrong, it just the knot just comes undone. So now I've created this loop, this adjustable loop. I'm gonna go back to my backcountry button. I put that button inside of there and then I lay this over top and I pull it tight. That's secure on there. Don't yank on this Mylar blanket super hard because it will tear. So there's one side. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with this piece. Okay, so here's a different angle. So you can see my ridge line. And here's the two pressics with the backcountry button and the lark's head knot on here. Now I can slide this over, get as much room as I can on one side. Now all we gotta do is stretch this out. There it is, nice and tight. See, it's nice and tight along there. And adjust this. I needed to right there's loose there's tight don't pull that too hard this will rip as you can see it's up at least on the ridge line that's too high I just had it set like that so I could film without being down on the ground I'm gonna need to drop that so that it's probably it's up here right now so you know about three feet off the ground. So we'll drop that it's right about there. I want just enough room so I can crawl up underneath it and I build a fire. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to run this ridge line up with a five by eight tarp. This is a ripstop. I'm gonna butcher the name for the Atoa tarp. It does not have grommets on it, 
it has these corner tags. I'm gonna show you how to do this. And I'm also gonna show you how to tie it up with a rain poncho that has grommets on it. Both of them slightly different. All right, first things first, we got our five by eight tarp. I am going to slide this one this way, this one here. I am going to thread this through this tag, a thread through a needle on an eye. So now it's through. All I'm going to do is find me a stick, a toggle. I like sticks. I like toggles. Half my job is sticks. I'm going to put that through there. I'm going to slide it through one side and just let it kind of dangle right there. Grab me another stick. Go to the other corner of this tarp. Put the toggle in there. Now, pull this tight. Show you something real quick. As you can see, this is loose. It's loose and I've run out of room from the tree to the end of the toggle. See that, that toggle's in there. We'll go down the line. We don't have enough span between the two trees. So that's easy to fix. We don't have to redo everything. All I'm gonna do, come back here, pull out this toggle, and I'm going to shorten this by tying another overhand knot right here. I will slide this over. So I've got this overhand knot here. I'll thread this through. Now this is just a dangly part and I can pull this tight. And I'm gonna shorten this one over here also. Pull this in. So I've taken that much off and I'm only using this small amount. Put that toggle through here. I'm gonna slide it over. To slide this side towards you and this one over here and it tightens it up that's not going anywhere now my last thing to do would be pin the other corners to the ground so one more time one more thing i'll show you is how to tie on that rain poncho with the grommets all right so here's my poncho with the grommet. I see a lot of people wanting to tie a knot around their poncho or a tarp that has a grommet through it. They, they just tie it like this and maybe some other knot. This tends to rip out. This is not a good way to tie any knot to a grommet. Uh, it's just a failure in design. What's better to do is use a toggle again. So what I'm gonna do again is thread that paracord through that eyelet. And then once again, put that toggle through there. That disperses the weight on that eyelet, on that grommet. Same thing. Come to you a little bit. Thread it through. Put the toggle in there. Pull it tight. So there's our ridge line. We can use a mylar blanket. We can use a tarp. We can use a poncho. This is the start of your emergency shelf. That wraps up things with what we're gonna do today with this video the next one will show you how to secure this to the ground so you have a nice lean to hopefully you learned something see you again next time